Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. In case if you are new to this channel, means please subscribe to our channel. Well, now in this video, we are going to see a three different things. One is how to remove the password, and then uh, how to change your Windows Learn password, and how to reset your Windows Learn password. So these are the three different things we are going to see. So the first one is that how to remove your password. So in this thing, you are actually know your password, but you want to remove your password. You can uh, direct. You want to be directly log in to your uh, Windows account uh, without uh, entering. the password so this is the first one and the second thing is that you want to change the password so in this case you are actually know your pin number you are actually already set your windows loan pin as well as the password but you are log in with your windows 11 account using the pin but you are actually forgot on your password so in that case you are actually you can able to log in to your windows 11 account but how to change the windows 11 password so without entering your current password so this is the second thing without entering the current password how to change your windows 11 password so after log in to your windows 11 account and the third method is that so for example you are actually forgot in windows 11 pin and you are forgot on your windows 11 password and for a, or else you don't set the windows loan pin also means so how to remove the windows loan password or how to reset the windows loan password directly in the windows 11 login page itself so you can't able to log into your windows loan account but how to reset the password and get back into your account without resetting or reinstalling the windows 11 os so or formatting like that so these are all the three things we are going to see in this video well now let's see one by one So the first one is that how to remove the password. So in this method you know the password but how to remove the password that is the one thing. So for that you have to go to the settings option. So just right click and go to the settings option and there just to go to the option account section and here is the option uh, sign in option. Just click on that and then go to the password and here you will have a option so here you will already set the password just click on the change now you have to enter the current password so you know the password so in the first method you know the password means so you have to enter the current password and after that so here you want to remove the password the first one is the first one you are going to see is that how to remove the password so in case if you want to remove the password means so don't enter any one in the new password and confirm password or password hint like that just click on the next option and that's it now your password has been removed so now you no need to enter the password while you are, while you are logging into your account so this is the method of removing your password so in this case you will actually know your own password and the next one is that uh, so now you are going to change your password so you will know the pin number using the pin number you are actually logged in into your account but how to change your password you are actually forgotten your password so that is the second one second thing so for this you can able to change your password without entering your current password using a command prompt so for that just right click or just click on the start menu and the type cmd so you have to open the command prompt in the administrator mode just right click and click on the run as administrator and click on the s option and once the command prompt is opened so just type net space user so after that click on the enter option now you'll get all the list of administrator and other accounts so now i am having a only one account that is the user so you'll get a name here so under the administrator you'll get a name here user so what is the what is your user uh, so what is your administrator name you have to type in that next command so the next command is that uh, so just hit the space net space user space you have to type your administrator name my administrator name is that user so i have just to type that so what is the administrator name you have you have to type that and after that hit the space again and press the asterisk and hit the enter option so now it will actually ask for a type your password for the user so in this method you no need to enter the current password so you can directly enter your own password new password so i am now entering the new password and after that just click on the enter so for security measure it will actually not shown so just type it and that's it and can for under in the retype the password also just type the same password 
and just click on the enter option now you'll see the command this completed successfully like that so this way you can able to change the password even if you not known the current password but for that you have to go inside the windows 11 account so in case if you know your windows 11 pin means so you are actually set your pin and as well as the password means so using your pin only your regularly login means so using this method you can able to change the password and now the third one method method is that so now you don't know the pin and you don't know what is the password you are actually set at. so in that case how to reset the windows 11 password so you are actually stuck up in the windows 11 login page so how to reset that so now we are going to see about that so for that we have to do some of the methods so i'll show you one by one well guys now this is the sign in page of the windows 11 so now i didn't know the password and as well as i didn't know the pin number also so now how to reset your windows 11 password and how to enter into your windows 11 account without reinstalling your windows 11 os and having your account back with all the data so for that first of all we are going to use a method is called so here is the option as you've seen so this is the accessibility option and this is the internet option and this is the power off option so as you've seen here so now we are going to change this accessibility app so this app will be called as a util man we are going to change this accessibility application with the command prompt application so once we get the command prompt application we can able to change the password so as we how we are already changed the password in the previous method so while you are actually logging into the windows learn account so we can able to change the password using the same method by just going to the command prompt but when you are in the login page you can't able to open the command prompt so for that we are going to change this uh, accessibility application into the command prompt application by going to the advanced settings option so for that you have to reset your windows learn pc so into the advanced settings so that means a recovery mode so to go into the recovery mode so you have to press the shift key in your keyboard so in your keyboard you have to press the shift key by just press and hold the shift key you have to click on the reset restart option so while you are actually restarting the pc so you have to press and hold the shift key as well until the restart will be happen you have to hold the shift key so then only you can able to go to the advanced setting option or recovery option like that so now i am actually restarted the pc to the advanced setting so you have to press and hold the shift key while you are clicking on the restart option so after restarting so you will get the advanced settings page so that means a recovery mode so now this is the advanced settings page of the windows 11 that means a recovery mode like that so here you want to select the troubleshoot option just click on that and after that you will see option advanced here you will get a command prompt just click on that so once you get the command prompt so now you want to do so it is in the exos so you have to first of all press the c option just to press the c and hit the colon and hit the enter option now you'll go to the c now you'll go to the c drive and after that you have to just hit the space just to type cd space windows and after that just to hit the enter and now in the windows page you have to just hit the space type uh, cd and hit the space type system and 32 just to hit the enter option now you'll go to the windows system 32 option so here you now you want to enter the uh, few commands so we are already said that we are going to change the application utilities that uh, accessibility application to the command prompt application so that the uh, accessibility application named as a util man so we are now going to change the util man application name so the util man dot exe to the util man one dot exe and after that we are going to change the command prompt application cmd dot exe to the util man dot exe so after changing this now in your uh, login page whenever you are clicking on that accessibility option so that um, you uh, that that util man uh, application you will get the command prompt application so after we get the command prompt application we can easily able to change or reset the password easily so this is the method so for that so to change that uh, application name so once you go to the windows system 32 settings so you now you want to type few commands so first you have to type ren so ren is nothing but ren name and after that hit the space and now you will just type util man 
dot exe and hit the space and again type util man 1 dot exe we are uh, changing the file name of the original source utilman application from utilman uh, dot exe to utilman 1 dot exe just to hit the enter so no other replace you will get just to hit the enter and after that you will go to the second page now you have to type the again ren space now you want to type cmd dot exe and hit the space now utilman dot exe so this is the second command and again hit the enter so we are now actually changed so the utilman the original utilman application to the utilman one and we are actually renamed the command application command prompt application to the utilman dot exe so whenever we are actually clicking the utilman that accessibility option we will get the command prompt application so that is the basic thing and after that just click on the this close option and now click on the continue to exit and go to the windows 11 and login page so wait for a few minutes it will go to their uh, windows 11 uh, login page so now we are actually heading to the login page again so i am now go to this page so here is that accessibility option so we are now actually uh, changed this accessibility application with the command prompt application so that is the thing so once i am actually clicking this accessibility application we will now get the command prompt application so now i am going to click on this so as you seen here we will get the command prompt so that's it now we are going to change the password so i didn't know what the password is that so in this option so first of all you have to type net space user so this is the same thing we are already done in the previous method so after that you will get the, all the list of uh, user accounts you will get so and after that so for, for which account you need to change the password you have to just need to enter that account name so the second command will be net user net space user and after that hit the space and here you want to type your administrator name my administrator name is user and after that hit the space now you want to type the asterisk and after that hit the enter now it is actually ask for a type your password so you have to type any one of the password and in case if you don't want the password means just simply click on the enter option again it is actually asked for the retype the password again hit the enter and that's it so now we are actually resetted our password to the empty password so now you don't need to enter any password by just clicking on the login you can directly go into your account so and that's it now just close this command prompt and now so click on the sign in option and this is a pin this is a password and this is the pin so we don't know we don't know the pin but once i am actually click on the password so so it will be directly go into your account so this is how you can easily able to reset your windows learn password in case you have forgotten means you can easily able to go into your windows 11 account easily so in this way you can easily able to reset your windows learn password and the one more thing is that now you can't able to access the command prompt so whenever i'm uh, typing the command so after clicking this command prompt so the command prompt will not be opened in your windows learn pc so for that we have actually changed that utilman application that accessibility application to the command prompt and that command prompt application to the accessibility so we have to again uh, switch over that so for that you have to again go to the advanced settings so for that just right click the start menu go to the settings option so here also you can go to the advanced settings so just click on the windows update and here is the advanced option option so after that here is the recovery and here is the advanced startup just click on the restart now and click on the restart now it will actually goes to that uh, recovery page so advanced settings page so i have given the all the command list in the description you can check out that so it is a very important thing you have to give the command correctly in case if you are wrongly give the command means then permanently you can't able to use the command prompt application and the utility man that application so that it is actually slightly confusing only you, but you have to use the commands in the command prompt correctly so now once go to this option click on the troubleshoot click on the advanced option and click on the command prompt so now once you go to the command prompt so first of all type c and then here you want to type uh, space cd space windows 
and hit the enter and after that again hit the space cd space system32 and hit the enter now you'll go to the navigation to the windows system32 now you want to type the command ren space and after we have actually uh, renamed that file name so we are first of all going to rename the so util man dot exe to cmd dot exe okay this is the first command just hit the enter and after that again type hit the speed uh, hit the space type ren space util man util man 1 dot exe so we have changed the util man to the util man 1 so we are again ch changing back to util man 1 to util man exe and hit the space util man dot exe and that's so wait a minute util man 1 dot exe so i have given the commands in the description so like uh, what are the commands you have to do be before the resetting your password and what are the commands you want to do in the command prompt after resetting your password so the, the you have to give the command prompt correctly in case if you wrongly given means so there will be there might be some confusion like you can't able to use the, the particular application like that so after that just click on the hit the enter and that's it so now i am just closing this and again going back to the windows 11 page so now i want to go to this uh, login page so once i click the accessibility option now i can able to get the regular options like a narrator on screen keyboard like that so these are all the option will be contained in that utility man application so now the account has been logged in so because we didn't set any password so it will be directly logged in so now we are just uh, uh, search for the command command prompt so just check whether the command prompt is working or not so just to click on the start menu so it is actually hanging so just type cmd and after that just type command prompt yes now the command prompt has been working so in previous after resetting your windows loan password you can't change this means you can't able to use the command prompt so you have to change that uh, application switch over again after resetting your password so then only you can be able to use the command prompt and the command prompt will also after that only start works so now this is the way you can easily able to change remove or reset your windows loan password so in case if you are lost your password or your forgot your windows loan password means so this is the one of the way and you have to always use this method genuinely for you only and don't try to so access other user accounts like that so that is uh, not a good thing well now that's it for this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel means please subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching this video guys